Good morning students, welcome back to our series on important subjects that we are discussing from competitive examination point of view. Okay, whatever I am telling you, uh, that is very well sufficient for you to correct the competitive exam, any competitive exam, whether it is set examination, PhD, NET or TTT, PGT, or whatever the examination, these all are the things that is prerequisite to correct the examination. At least you complete all these things and after that you can uh, go through other information, all right? So all these are the things uh, that we have already discussed. Create a playlist of all these important videos and uh, put them in one playlist. So in this video, uh, we will discuss about the important American literature works. Uh, what all are the important things that you have to study from American literature? We are only going to discuss the important works. So actually, it is not possible to cover everything on YouTube. Like literature is very big. So we cannot cover everything on YouTube. So that's why we have different uh, like study material and everything. Even if you join a coaching classes, six months is not a sufficient time for you to uh, write down the notes, you have to mug up all the things. Uh, that is very difficult to do all these things in the less than six months of period of time. Um, do smart work, directly copy and paste from the internet and then take the printouts and then start studying it immediately. Okay, let's first see the previous year questions on Limitless Literature website on American Literature. You see, American Literature is not that wide. Okay, uh, it has only like 30 or 40 writers and in that writers only you have to do the summaries in British literature you have to study the works in depth but when we talk about American literature Indian literature British diaspora okay or any other subject you do not have to study any of the work in depth only the summaries summaries of the works will do the work okay so in American literature you do not have to even study the history of American literature because when you would look at the previous year questions you will never find any questions from the history of American literature okay you do not have to study uh, which president was there king queens and all that but we study in British okay even the important events in British literature like the Anglo-Norman conquest great exhibition act uh, and then great fire of London what we are studying in British literature is the important events also important British history also but in American literature you do not have to study anything okay let's first check out the subject wise questions that are available on limitless literature website okay so here is the limitless literature website simply go to the subject wise questions when you click here subject wise questions you will be having all the 3000 plus topic wise questions it is from 2008 to 2021 if you want the previous year questions to after 2021 then you can download it from the limitless literature mobile application it's free of cost so from here we can go to american literature and here we can see invisible man by ralph ellison is an example of coming of age of novel okay so all these questions are very simple larry slate is a character in the iceman comments like if you have studied iceman comments it is very easy for you to answer this question all the questions hemingway's novel a farewell arms is divided into in moby dick captain ahab fall for his so in case you want this booklet on 3000 plus previous year questions you can directly click here or you can simply go to this packages and books section and from here you can uh, place your order of this booklet if you go with the complete study material we will be providing you with 14 booklets along with this 3000 plus booklet and 1000 plus mcqs also so that course cost 8900 uh, you can check it out on the limitless literature website packages and books okay so let's get back to our discussion so most of the questions are like uh, who is the character there and which author has written which work match the following works okay on looking at these previous year questions you may find it difficult once you have to study the complete subject american literature right from the beginning of all the writers that came after the independence of american literature until the 21st century or 20th century writers in american literature not more than 35 or 40 writers if you have prepared american literature these questions are very easy to solve let's check out what you have to do in american literature the important works we are going to discuss only so i will take you directly to the study material that we provide to the students the booklet american literature booklet that we provide to the students and there uh, we can figure out what all are the important works okay only summaries are enough okay you do not have to go into that in american literature okay let's check out once again so here we go with this uh, booklet that we provide to the students here are the important literary movements you can also check our literary movement playlist from the youtube channel from here you can figure out the playlist important literary movements here you go with this literary movements in english literature we have covered right from the scottish josian to uh, the confessional poetry that is the last one in american literature we have covered everything what is aestheticism in literature naturalism in literature 
so that is the thing naturalism in literature impressionism symbolism imagism surrealism uh, we have discussed all these literary movements over here also but again in american literature uh, there are few literary movements that is not covered in this playlist okay so you can make the list of all these from here this video and then you can start working on this playlist you see all these literary movements do not have more than two three paragraphs okay that will do the work three to four paragraphs are sufficient okay let's directly move on to the american literature important works okay the first important work is the last of mohicans the last of mohicans is important again uh, you have to remember all the uh, works written by james f cooper like they can ask you who is the author of the crater okay james f uh, cooper you simply have to go through the summary of this you see here leather stocking tales we have the five uh, things in the series so you have to remember everything uh, you can skip the years in american literature they are not asking the years uh, but you have to study the uh, at least titles of all these works okay so the next important work is from louis may alcott little women uh, you do not have to go through the complete summary simply one paragraph is sufficient for this little women okay the next one is moby dick that is very important in the previous year we have seen many questions in moby dick if there are five to six questions you may definitely find a questions from moby dick and then scarlet letter is also important the raven is also important from edgar Allan poe you have seen this we have note down all the titles of these works short stories the black cat the cask of amaltilado the fall of the house of usher like they are asking simply who has written uh, the murders in the room of who is the author of the oval portrait they are simply asking these things so you must remember all the uh, writers all the stories that these writers have written so Lenore is important uh, like they are asking the questions from here panoid letter and they are not asking the questions but again you have to at least go through the summary of this particular work let's go on to the next one then we have the important works from f scott Fitzgerald, the great gatsby you have to study a farewell to arms you have to study that's very important in the previous year we have the questions from uh, from whom the bell tolls okay that's the ernest hemingway's questions the writers is ernest hemingway so you have to study all this summary the old man and the sea that's very important the age of innocence is very important and then we have the adventures of tom sawyer and tom sawyer you don't have to study all the stories you simply just write down the summary of the adventures of uh, tom sawyer but you have to study the adventures of huckleberry finn and then we have uh, john steenbeck he has written six works so you see the six works you do not have to go through all the six works uh, based on the previous year questions we have made these booklets okay and uh, we expect that the same things can be reappearing in the uh, next examinations like in the six works we have only talked about the four works and not in depth like the grapes of wrath uh, that is also only important work out of american literature uh, not all the things are important in john steenbeck uh, like of mice and men you just simply know the a little bit of summary like two paragraphs three paragraphs that's enough that's why i suggest you to always go through the previous year questions and uh, you should be uh, referring some book okay you can refer to american literature book online from amazon or you can even refer to the wikipedia page and uh, uh, these all are the writers very important and from previous year questions we come up with all these writers we come up with all these works important works all right let's get back onto the screen to kill a mockingbird by harper lee that's very important important okay in soul below you do not have to do anything only simply remember the titles that are from soul below in tennis williamson you do not have to study all these things glass managery uh, that you can do it is there is a movie on this also you can go through this question one question or two questions in the last 10 years from this particular work okay a streetcar named desire also you can do one or two paragraphs that's enough more than sufficient you do not have to study any of this but remember the titles also let's move on to the next one uh, we have the important work from Eugene O'Neill. You see, Eugene O'Neill is the winner of four Pulitzer Prize Award. It is very important that you sh should study the Eugene O'Neill, all the complete works. They can ask you any questions from Anna Christie, Emperor Jones, the hairy ape. The hairy ape is, I think, in the syllabus of Punjab University. So you have to study that. Also, Desire Under the Amps. Okay, these all are the important works. Let's check it out once again. In Eugene O'Neill, you have to study Anna Christie. And then you also have to study Emperor Jones. You have to study the hairy ape. You have to study the desire under M's. Okay. Summaries are enough. You do not have to study more than the summary. Arthur Miller, Death of Salesman. Summary is enough. And then we have the confessional poets. Jack Kerouac, Robert Lowell, Sylvia Plath. 
these are the poets okay so that's enough for american literature you do not have to study more than this you are going to find a lot of questions from here for instance you can simply see here in the american literature previous year questions okay so here we have discussed the scarlet letter there was a question and then sylvia plath there is a question these are the very simple question who among the following is not a jewish american novelist okay these are very simple questions when you study american literature you will be able to figure out the right answer for that and then we have question from great gatsby okay so you see this question which of the following novels is structured into a poem of 999 lines preceded by a forward followed by a commentary and an index such questions cannot be answered no one can answer these questions even if you ask me to sit in the examination i will not be able to guess this answer i just have to do the intelligent guesswork and i have to skip this question by simply randomly picking up or any of these four options okay what we have to do is whatever we are studying we make sure that we study it completely thoroughly more than 15 times revision is required when you revise it again and again and again then you will be able to answer these questions in american literature previous year questions are enough okay the works that i have mentioned covered that those works and from these uh, previous year questions make down your notes on your own notes that is going to help you for sure but yes in case if you want me to help you uh, to guide you through this american literature uh, you can place the order of our study material we will be providing you with the video lectures and everything that is required for you to crack this examination so these all are the things that i have to share in this video uh, do let me know your queries in the comment section below i will share with you uh, more updates in the next video that's it for this thank you